at that dog with death in her eyes or something, and if you're in the way, she will bite. <laughs> When we first started noticing Hyde's aggression towards food and toys, we, we quickly tried to follow Caesar's advice from other shows that we had watched. Didn't work. Over and over and over, we tried and tried and tried. Each day he would just get aggressive again. So it got to the point where we just let it go. We gave up. We have no plants in the backyard because the dogs eat them. Everywhere we put grass, they just sit there and dig it up. He's not as aggressive towards dogs as she is, but he's been attacked several times by dogs. When we go to the dog park or anything, they'll, they'll rush him. And then Veda is immediately hair up, growling, defensive. Tail. <clears throat> tail straight up. And the only way to fix it is to completely remove her from the situation. Mm. So yeah. you, you never managed to make him go into a relaxed state? Not when he's at that point. I can't get him to, to calm down completely, no. It's going to be about claiming. You got to claim it, you know. You got to claim the space. Otherwise, they're going to claim it. I was telling Rob, Rob, let's don't focus on, on what you want. Let's focus on what can you do for the pack, for the pack to become harmonious. And then by having the harmony that you want, then you transfer that state of mind into a dog park. Yep. But you don't have harmony at home. How can you go into other areas and expect that? You own the turtle. Mm -hmm. You own the trash can. Mm -hmm. You own the furniture. You own people that come in here. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what he wants to know, who owns these people. Okay. okay. Who owns this turtle? Anything this wolf-looking thing, you, you're going to see a lot of gum, mm -hmm. a lot of teeth. But... They're still saying, you know, I'm not sure, you know, or I am tense, and they show gum. So if you don't know how to read that, you can make that aggression. Okay. But it's just an expression. Mm -hmm. Because they felt the Veda was very aggressive, and they described her as a red zone, and, and she redirected her aggression towards one of them, wanted to make sure they learn how to make Veda the role model, because Veda is the role model of height. This Veda was 99% of the time the dominant one, except when it comes to food. That's when Hai said, well, I have to, I have to survive, so I have to show teeth and show my size. So, and then what, is if you go in there? Oh. All right, that's enough, that's enough. He's definitely warning you because he was eating and then he's hold on the eating and that was a warning. Okay. And then he went, oh, yeah. okay. What happens when, when they get to the food, you see, they go and, and, and put themselves over. Uh -huh. So once that is happening, the, what, what, one thing that we can do is to hire the ball, you know, so, so he's not over so much, you know, like, like that. So if I have the ball, I have control over. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he's backing away. I don't care about the sit and the paw right now. What I care is about give me distance when I have food in my hand. You understand? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Very okay. Yeah, oh, okay. It goes right for us. Yeah. Us we... Yeah. So that's what I'm asking. Okay. What is going to make him respectful is that he can't get too close when I have food in my hand. Okay. Yeah. 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 So when I have food, I become more powerful. That is where, you know, we felt uncomfortable and, and vulnerable to his attack. And so now that we can control and keep him out of the red zone, I feel really good. Reward that state of mind. To see yourself as energy and to see others as energy. The strategy, I can give you the best strategy in the world, but if the energy is not good, it doesn't matter what strategy you follow. Yeah. So it's not what we learn you know, um, how to do, how to best feed the dogs. Now, is what energy should I use before I feed the dogs? What energy should I be before I walk the dogs? What energy oh, should I yeah. be before I put the leash? What energy should I use before I wake up? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The conscious part of it. Yeah. The part that a lot of times people are not aware of, but dogs are always aware of. 
that to me will be the key for you guys to really learn. It's it off. Hey Caesar, thanks for all the help that you gave us. Our dogs are a lot better. They're easy to manage. They're fun again, and we can actually go out and enjoy our time here. Also, we're able. To Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn.